doctors in Mississippi's metro are seeing a surge of new patients with an interesting new ailment, anaphylactic shock after eating the meat of mammals. Dr. Galen Marshall, the chief of allergy, asthma and clinical immunology at UMMC in Jackson, says these people are being diagnosed with a tick-borne illness, which is causing allergic reaction to red meat. What happens in someone that, is, that develops alpha-gal allergy? is that they're bitten by this tick and the alpha-gal antigen is somehow introduced into their body. The thought process is that the tick has fed on another mammal that has alpha-gal in their blood and by the nature of what ticks do when they bite any of us, they inject a certain amount of their own saliva back into that wound. The medical community is still working to understand exactly what's happening, but what they do know is mammals are now carrying this form of a carbohydrate that's being injected into humans. An alpha-gal is a, a simple word for a very long title of a type of sugar that's in uh, mammals, all kinds of higher mammals, but not in human beings. While symptoms have been observed in people from various places over the last decade, Doctors finally acknowledge its existence. It was sort of an unusual phenomenon. It took the medical community several years to even accept it as real. So what happens to a human body that receives this foreign pathogen? So when we're exposed to something, whatever it is, that we, we don't make ourselves, our body may make an immune response against it. And in the case of alpha-gal, what we're seeing is that that seems to be mediated through tick bites. In particular, they thought it was the Lone Star Tick only. There's mounting evidence that it's more than just the Lone Star Tick and that it's more than just the Southeast. So what's the worst news? Well, these Lone Star Ticks have cousins. Entomologists are giving us information that they're the, the makeup of the Lone Star Tick, have, they have cousins. And these cousins uh, apparently are able to transmit this same problem as the Lone Star Tick itself on the basis that we're seeing cases of alpha-gal allergy in places where they have trouble finding Lone Star Ticks. The doctor says while the phenomenon is being observed throughout the world, Southerners here in America are at particular risk. Uh, even though the incidence of this is spreading, it's most common in places like Mississippi that are very rural and wooded where people are going to be exposed to ticks a lot. If you've had a tick bite and you're worried, an allergist can test your blood for alpha-gal. Also, listen to what your body is telling you. So if in the, in the example I gave, someone ate a hamburger and they were allergic to the beef in the hamburger, they would begin to experience symptoms within five to 60 minutes of the exposure to that hamburger. Literally, by the time they got up from the table, they'd know something was wrong. Dr. Marshall says after you've been bitten, the first signs can take three to four weeks to appear. For alpha-gal allergy, again for reasons that we don't fully understand, but for alpha-gal allergy is that it's three to twelve hours after the exposure before the reaction occurs. It manifests itself as abdominal cramping or nausea and vomiting or diarrhea. It could be gut symptoms. But then it can transfer to the rest of the body where you can have skin symptoms like itching and hives. You can have uh, lung symptoms like difficulty breathing, even symptoms that come all the way up to your throat where you have difficulty swallowing. There is some good news amidst all this bad. If that individual can keep themselves from being bitten again by ticks, there's a good a good. Uh, let me say it again. If that person can keep themselves from being bitten by ticks repeatedly, there's mounting information that says that they can lose that allergy over time. Dr. Marshall says he has seen patients in some cases sort of grow out of their allergy after a course of a few years having not allowed themselves to be bitten again. He also says don't blame the ticks. They're just doing what they know to do. This tick is an interesting little vermin and that they're capable of creating a variety of things and they're just doing what they do uh, for their own life form. They're trying to get a blood meal to move on to reproduce and do what they're doing. They're just trying to get from the morning to the evening just they're like just everybody trying, else. I was just going to say, they're just trying to make a living like everybody else. That's exactly else. right. <laughs> so cute. They just do it in a different way. Poor little guys. <laughs>
<laughs> Ticks get no respect. Reporting in the Capitol, Tara Thomas, WJTV 12.